What's happening guys and welcome back to Miss Hippie Plays Blood Bowl. I give you Chaos Comics. This is a new team we're about to play with. It is Chaos Dwarf Team, but first let's talk about the construction because it's a little weird. When you go look up uh, suggested builds, usually um, you either go no Minotaur or if you Minotaur you have to give up a Dwarf. But I didn't want to give up a Dwarf and I wanted a Minotaur. So I went with kind of an odd build. I took the Minotaur and all the dwarves, and I went with two rerolls instead. So that's a thing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let's go talk about the team. We're Chaos Comics, obviously. So we have three hobgoblins. Those are Hobley Quinn, Goblitus, and the green hobgoblin. We have one Minotaur, he is Bruce Banatar. The Bull Centaur is the Synonaut, bitch. And then we have our six Chaos Dwarfs. So that's Dormamorph, Vinorf, Finorf, Solomon Dwarfy, the Scarlet Dwarf, and Dwarf Pool. And that's our team. We're running with two rerolls to start with and no Apothecary. We're, this is our first thing we're going to buy. <laughs> So let's hope we can go like one game because we have 40,000. So if we can go one game without getting anyone seriously hurt, we'll be all right. Let's try to roll this team up, shall we? All right. Looks like we found someone. And we're going to get a little bit of inducements too. Fantastic. No. Ooh, we're going to get a pretty good bit of inducement. Wait, no we're not. Why do I have 120 in petty cash and we just... I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. So we're going to Wandering Apothecary. And that's what we're going to do. Actually, no we're not. Change. Accept. We're going to extra team training. We're going to get that third reroll because we're probably going to need that. So, inducement results. Ah, oh, there we go. They must have got a mercenary. They got two mercenaries. Okay. So, let's start of match. And let's get rolling. He's got three rerolls. We've got three rerolls. He's got an apothecary. We don't. And so he's played a game, I think. Unless he bought Fan Factor. But he's got. He must have injured players, though. Oh, no. But if he's got a big guy. May have to put my big guy on him. We'll see. But of course he's got a big guy. Like, why else do you take? Or not? He's chaos. Oh! I feel silly now. He's chaos. Yeah, let's receive. Uh, yeah, let's receive. G. Good luck. Have fun. So, anybody leveled at all on his team? There's a loner. Nope, nope. Uh, oh. So he's got one guy with block. One guy leveled up. All right.
So he's just kind of piling up the center, I think. That's a interesting play. Uh, it's good, though. I mean, I don't have a lot of speed. So I guess I can try to build a cage to the left or right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so for starters, Chunky Monkey's going right there. And then, obviously, we're going to get our Bull Centaur back here with one of the Hobgoblins just for protection. Um, we're going to put him here because he's got some strength for people. We're going to put him here. Same thing. One and one. This is his loners. So we're going to throw our hobgoblins on the line with his loners. And we're going to save our block and tackle for his important players. So we're going to move this guy there. And probably move them both just up one. Very good. Except. Touchback. Give the ball to a player. Centaur ball. So, I guess first thing we can do is uh, punch this guy. So, the next thing we're going to do is... How far can Mr. Centaur run? That's it. So we're going to run him right here. And then Dwarf Blocker. Dwarf Blocker. Dwarf Blocker. Hobgoblin. <laughs> Fantastic. End of turn. Turning off that camera for the umpteenth time. So he definitely has a strength advantage, but we'll see if we can't work around that a little bit. Also, my ball carrier is equal strength with his strongest guy, which is good. I mean, again, he can work around that too, but... That's all part of the game. <laughs> Now, if he's clever, he'll hit with that guy. 
which I think he has to because he's already moved, so that doesn't make much sense. Um, I have enough free players to move the base, right? Yeah, but not very far. We'll see what he does. If he doesn't get a guy on my ball carrier, I certainly do. So I'll be punching him with a Minotaur. He hasn't used his blitz action yet. He's still kind of spread. <coughs> but he has kind of screened up on my side. So that's a thing. So my turn now? Yes, no, maybe, come on. Something. There we go. All right. So let's move this guy right back in here. Yeah, you can make it there. So, what we'll do is we'll move this guy right here. Still negative two. All right, so now we're going to move this gentleman right here. This guy goes right here. This one goes over here. And then he goes right here. Yep, you go ahead and do that. Fan oh, he didn't follow. Okay. That's kind of odd. 
Now he's going to punch that because that was his support. And he's going to follow with him, no doubt. No? Are you going to blitz in with a... With him? You st no, you have to go through. No. No. Hmm. I don't know what you plan on doing here, sir. But he's still giving ground a little bit. So he knocks him down. Does he follow? No. So yeah, all those guys have moved here. Like, is the guy in the back moved maybe, I think? What's that? What happened? Oh, fantastic. Hey, why didn't I? Oh, yeah, I didn't go with the apothecary. Ha! Huh. So we just lost a dwarf. That's fantastic. Okay, my turn. So let's stand this guy up to start. Let's move him here and him here. Now we're gonna still negative two. I should get a support from him. Okay. Don't understand how that still functions, but instead, it's a one die block. So we're going to move him here, we're going to stand him up. And we're going to move him here. So no, two up. So I can blitz this guy on a one die block. Or I can st Let's stand him up. Fantastic. Push. That is grand. Just getting him away.
So we're starting to get clogged up now, which is good, kind of, I guess. Not with the way my injury rolls have been going, but... That's kind of what we've been looking for. Is... <laughs> so right now That's a lot of thought. So, right now, I could possibly blitz him. Whoa. Look at all that movement. All right. But he's got to push someone. So who's he going to push? <coughs> Yes, you're going to push me out of the way? Oh, that is... how thoughtful. So, yeah, I can just... <coughs> readjust. Over here, pull and pull. Or, I have enough people not based, I could smash that guy. Oh man. Let's make him readjust, shall we? Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So... Mm-hmm. Yep. Follow him. Fantastic. We're going to smash that guy. All right. Now, let's see where we can make a cage. So, he can't move very far, but he can move to right here. He can move to up there. He can move to the bottom of it. So let's just move him as far as he will go. No. I haven't used my reroll yet, have I? I don't think so, so...
Let's base a few of these. At least make him waste a turn on it. So he's going to punch him and come in there, which is fine for now. Oh, how interesting. This, I've never played anyone who quite plays like this. It's different. It's hard to know how to react. not interested in basing the ball just more like putting up a hard to push through wall maybe making me option myself to death he's definitely using a strength advantage I mean and right now it's working it's turn four I haven't got the ball past the halfway line yet so I mean right now it's working for him See what I mean? He comes in, he bases one of my guys, but he doesn't base the ball. Like, he could blitz my ball carrier right now, but he chooses not to. <coughs> See? There's still no tackle zone on the ball. And why does he do this? It's so confusing to me. Not to mention, hasn't used a single reroll. I mean, this is a paramount of conservative play. Now he comes in for the ball. And a good scatter for him. That's for sure.
So everyone's got a four plus. Yeah, his movement's too good to worry about that. So there he is getting a tackle zone on the ball. Alright, so that's oh he rerolls. I forget he uses his rerolls way better than I use mine. <laughs> Interesting. So now, what do I do? Uh, I'm being outplayed. Seriously. Nothing here. And that's the way this is going. I'm going to have to take a few risks. So, I really do need that guy free. So let's do this first. Uh, am I going to need my blitz? Yeah, I'm going to need my blitz. So let's do this first. All right, so. <coughs> let's stand this guy up. And let's blitz in here. Huh. Now I have nowhere to blitz to get rid of this guy. I have a one die block here, though. Oops. 
Still got a reroll. Okay, push. That'll do for now. Yep, follow him. Keep him based. Now, let's go. Mm. Still haven't used my reroll. end of turn so I need to escape twice I have two turns and it's gonna take me two turns to get into the end zone that's the case of it like if he delays me anymore I'm screwed cuz next turn seven then eight so I have to make forward progress next turn I have to at least make one two three spaces of forward progress or I am incapable of scoring. So, I can blitz him next turn with my... And that would free him up to run over here. Hit him. Up oh, here comes that delay. that <coughs> so that's a one die block to push him off I've got to get three spaces forward all there is to it no if ands or buts if it requires dodges or whatever I've got to move three spaces Oh, that's going to require everything. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stand this guy up to make sure nobody in there gets any support. Turn one. Next turn, we're going to use our blitz to knock this guy out with the Minotaur. And of course, we don't get that luxury. Oh, yeah, we do. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to use this to base this guy because we got to. Doesn't really matter because we need to move three spaces. So that's to the side. One, two, three. So we need to get...
Yes, he's out all alone, but I really don't have any other options. So, looks like both are going down here. And just him. And, of course, badly hurt. Oh, my damn. This is bad. This is the first half. Gotta make risks though, gotta move, shuck and jive and all that jazz. Luckily I've based most of his guys, my biggest threat is a blitz from that dude, which is what's coming. And that's that, I don't get the ball back. Actually, the ball went on the same plane. I can get the ball back. No, but I'm down. I got half my movement. So, nope. All right, so All right, so he goes down. 
Didn't know you could do that from a diagonal. Oh yeah, I had him blocked there. That's exactly what happened. Whoops. Didn't think that through well enough, but oh well. Well, I grabbed the ball. We're gonna vanity pass. Let's see. Okay, he doesn't get anyone back. I get him back. All right. So I'm two players down. So we're going to spread out, put them here. Then we're going to put some of these guys back here. We're going to have the Minotaur on the corner. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for him. He hasn't moved anybody yet. Does he have anybody in the back? Nope. Alright, that's his turn. He's obviously going to punch my front line. Why he wanted three die blocks on the corners, though? Is he just going to blitz with one of the horn guys to take out my little backup row there?
All right, let's not overbase this side here because he's still got some moving to do. But what I am going to do is roll this cat over here and maybe throw a hobgoblin right there. <coughs> and he goes here, I guess. Let's go for it. <coughs> Who's getting pushed? Oh, that guy. Okay. Just gives him a one die block. And that gives him a two die. He's running to the left. That's why I left these guys a little open. Oh, God, I hate the way this guy rolls. And of course, Mixed Nest Game. Fantastic.
This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's hard not to get upset. All right, so let's move him over here. Let's pull him back. We'll run here. Yep. Um, do do do. There's nothing I can do to keep him from scoring. Yeah, he can make it to that corner, I think. Still, I've got a one die block if done right. I'm gonna have to take risk to beat this guy. Like, he's outplaying me in conservative play. I'm going to have to win with luck. And I have lost every advantage I have. I'm a bunch of strength three, agility two guys. Who have to try to keep him from scoring for five turns. Go seals that up. Of course he does because he thinks well.
Conservative playtime is over. We're going to be dodging with dwarves and doing one dice blocks and using rerolls because he's got us outmuscled, outnumbered. The only thing we have is Nuffle. Chances are good we are going to lose this game, though. <laughs> Oh, he based him. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it's his movement four, one, two, three, four, nope. There is no way to prevent him from scoring now, I do believe. We are all sewed up. Three, four. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, one. No, he's down, so yeah, let's see here. Let's just keep all those guys laying down.
Yep. That was the Nuffle play. Didn't work. <laughs> Three dodges with a two agility troll. Really? All right. You really think I can score with this team? Yep, I believe this is it. Let's go ahead and rock out these turns, shall we? Yep, so we're just going to be ending turn over and over again. So, Well, this was a clever team to be just ruined.
course they do. <laughs> oh. Well, that was excruciatingly bad. We, uh, it's, that's bad. It's bad, bad. We were beat every way you could be beat. And I think that's the only <laughs> SPP we got. Uh... But we did get someone who's missing next game and someone else who's missing next game. And loses a point of armor. Just just saying. Let's get that apothecary, shall we? Yes, please. Should have went with the apothecary. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.